Hey Google, can kids have lobster? <laughs> yes, you idiot. <laughs> Thanks, Google. Welcome back to Cassiano Travels. Home of the family that lives by car and plane. I'm MJ. I'm Christine. And I'm Cassie. <laughs> so today is another glorious gold belly review for you guys today. Last week, Christine spun the wheel and it landed on Beals Lobster Pier out of Maine. So we are no stranger to lobster rolls. In fact, we've had them on the coast of California. We've had them in Seattle. We've had them in Boston. We've had them in Cape Cod. We've had them and probably 20 other spots outside of that that aren't brag worthy, but we love them. And the cool thing about this place is they've been in business since about 1932 and not really much has changed. They're iconic for their oceanfront views that are just absolutely gorgeous. I actually sneaked a peek on Google here a second ago and it was magnificent. It's still family owned and operated to this day, which is rare as you guys know, and I love yeah. that about it. And probably most importantly, GQ named this one of the top spots for lobster rolls in Maine. So very excited about that. We have That's a couple cool. different lobster roll places on our wheel that we're hoping we can land on eventually throughout this series, but this was the first one to get landed on. So this is the first lobster review we've done. Yeah, I still remember my first time biting into a lobster roll and it was life changing. <laughs> it, I could move to Maine right now just for the lobster rolls. I absolutely hate colds, <laughs> but I would do it for the lobster so rolls. So are you okay with the fact that they are only open during the summer? And by they, I mean oh. every lobster place no, actually, no, so that, that's very sad. That was something we hated when we went to Cape Cod. It'd know. have to be a summer home. <laughs> yeah, they were only open from like May to August. And we're like, man, this place is amazing. Like I would still, like I would survive through the yeah, cold to I live in a place that. like that. But people don't do it. Those are yeah. places for summer homes. So the price was a little steep. Uh, it was $180 for four lobster rolls. As Cash rips off his famous Beals yeah. Lobster Pier apron. Which Beard? is pretty Beard? cool, honestly. Apron? Bib? Bib. 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 <laughs> No, it's kind of cool that they include these with it. I feel like I'm having more of that like real experience here. Although I do feel like I should have like a bucket of crab legs in front of me or something. That would be nice too. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you right now? Oh, I am very excited. I will say that one thing I noticed right off the bat is that they did not skimp on the lobster that they're providing in this. Everything is really like lump pieces of lobster meat. So. I'm super excited for that reason. I he love both too. styles. Yeah, he's obviously like up demanding it right now. So we better jump in. Let's go in for the mayo first. Yeah. You want to? Let's do it. Mmm. <laughs> the bread is amazing, which is crazy. That's like the first thing that hits you. Yeah, that really is so good. We both love brioche bread so much. Like every time we see it at the grocery store, we're like, we have to make sandwiches out of it this week. This is some of the better brioche bread that I've had. And it's crazy that it takes away from the lobster a little bit, but not in a bad way. All right, I just got a mammoth chunk of lobster <laughs> as just, Christine has mayo dripping down her chin. I just realized why they include bibs. Yeah, it gets a little messy. I couldn't bite into it because the lobster was so, so dense. Yeah, like that was, I believe, a piece of the lobster tail. Like there was a couple really fat pieces. That was amazing. You'll see a mix of everything. There's some claw in there, but most lobster rolls just do claw. This is gonna be one that we just devour every crumb up. Look at this. This is like one piece. No wonder I couldn't take a bite. Do you see that? That is insane. This is really, really good. Yeah, it, this is amazing. This meat is so fresh. Had they had it marked on the tin that this was from yesterday or two days ago. So, no way. Yeah, like they caught it. caught two days ago. They cooked it and they shipped it out overnight. I mean, so this was super, super fast. It tastes that way. Yeah, you feel like you're in the sand, uh, mm -hmm. an 80 degree day sitting out there in Maine. Mm-hmm, wow. You wanna go ahead and try the butter ones and see how those compare? That is so good. Yes, let's go for it. Let's not forget these chips too. How are the chips? They're chips. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Hey Google, can kids have lobster? Yes, you idiot. <laughs> Thanks Google. 
parenting in Crossing 2021. Crossing my T's and dotting my I's, okay? <laughs> Half her parenting tips come from Google. It's true, incredible. <laughs> I'm going in for another lump Yeah, I want one too. too. Mm. Mm. Those are both amazing. When crazy enough, I think I lean the mayo on this one. And you don't normally no, prefer mayo. No, usually I don't mayo. like mayo lobster rolls, but it is really I like them good. Both. When I opened the mayo and the butter tubs earlier, they both kind of smelt like lobster. So I don't know if they're lobster infused or not. Maybe that's like a secret, but I can mm. smell something in it. So Maybe it's they not just mayo and butter. Oh, interesting. No, this is incredible. I already know what I would rate it. I think so too. Try a chip. It's a chip. <laughs> The chips are chips. So we usually rate based on three things. That's flavor, visual appeal, and how it compares to the real restaurant. Unfortunately, we have not been to Beale's Lobster Pier before. We're hoping to knock that off sometime in the next yeah, it's year. It's on the bucket list now. We almost made it a trip this summer. We were very close, but until then, we're gonna have to just go off a of gold belly. Good job. <laughs> so going off just flavor and appeal, the appeal was amazing. Like if, if I was given this at a restaurant, you know, typically they're 25 to 35 bucks uh, fresh. If you go to a restaurant, I would have been very pleased. I think the size of it was good too. The roll was a little smaller than some of the places we've had, but they filled it to the brim a little bit more with more plump meat, which mm -hmm. made up for it. Taste wise, like we said already, not a huge fan of mayo generally, but I think I actually like that one better. I don't know what they put in that mayo, but it's something special. And the butter one is just your classic and I have nothing but good things to say about that as well. So yeah. since we have not done a lobster review before or really a seafood review before, yeah. you kind of have to create its own category and then judge others based off that and this is up there with the best of them and I can't imagine it getting too much better to be honest so I'm gonna go at 9.2 out of 10. Oh wow that's a great score. I really enjoyed it. No this is a really solid lobster roll for both styles regardless of which option you prefer. Yeah you would know what I'm talking about but there is a place here in Oklahoma City that actually serves a really good lobster roll that's debatably even better. Yeah, which is crazy. In Oklahoma. Yeah, of all places. Of all places. Landlocked. With that being said, I have that stuck in my mind, so it kind of hinders it just a little bit. But for me, I'm going to go an 8.8. .8. It's a really great option. Very expensive, but how many times do you get to have fresh lobster flown to your house? Pretty cool. Yeah, definitely worth it. 45 bucks each. Not crazy, like we said. Most restaurants are 25 to 35. So for having it fresh from Maine, you really can't ask for much more than that. Cashy, what would you give it? The guy called. From between 1 and 10. Oh, Cashy ah. gives it a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of lobster rolls. Wheel. All right, it is time for the best part of the show, the Wheel of Meals. So whatever we land on, that's where we're gonna review for you guys next. So let's go ahead and give it a spin, Christine. All right. And she's won like five in a row, so I think it's, I think it's Daddy's turn. Wolfgang Puck Pot Pies, another one of Christine's. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Unbelievable. There's just Are as there many. Are there any of you right here? <laughs> Yeah, they're half mine, half hers, and I think I've lost all of them except for one. <laughs> so, well, thank you guys as always for watching. We really appreciate it. Be on the lookout for Wolfgang Puck Pot Pies. Sorry. <laughs> Be on the lookout for Wolfgang Puck Pot Pies. That's right, pies. Coming your way very soon. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Stay safe out there. <laughs> People are gonna think Bye. I'm allergic to shellfish.